Could you walk us through like an average day in your life of like what happens when you meet with clients and market and when does all that happen? So I practice in my firm, we do all different kinds of things. I particularly do the criminal defense stuff. So I do a lot of criminal defense, but in my firm, we do, you know, personal injury, car accident, stuff like that. I spend a lot of my time on the road. So LA traffic is, I like to say it's worse than, than Manhattan traffic. And, and I believe it. I've heard. <laughs> so, and you know, in, in criminal law, you have to be in court. There's no court call, things like that in criminal law. You can't just call and do that because people's constitutional rights are at stake. So they want everything done in person, at least in, in this state they do. So like today I drove, about 40 minutes each way for a five minute appearance but i had to do that so i got up got in the road went to court came back by the time i came back to the office is 11 o'clock and i've already lost two three hours of productive work so i spend a lot of my time driving if i have court and sometimes we have to go to one two three courts in one day so there's days that you never set foot in the office or by the time you come in the office it's like 4:35 because you've been driving around in court which I don't mind except for the traffic. If we didn't have that traffic then it would be so much easier. Um and then you try to squeeze in a networking event once or twice a week at night or sometimes in the morning early in the morning. Um and then you got to have client dates. I like to have and I try, and sometimes it doesn't work. I like to schedule one day a week as an office day, meaning no court. I, don't, I try not to schedule court, and I come in the office, and I'm there the whole day. Um, believe it or not, I'm here on Saturdays a lot, catching up on my, on my work, because I'm, I'm not in the office. I'm always in court, and I love it. I love it. So average day for me is court, office, maybe court in the afternoon, um, and then office again. And then a night, a networking event or a bar association meeting, something like that. So a lot of travel and also getting yourself out there. A lot of travel, getting yourself out there. And uh, yes, um, word of mouth is the best um, referral source, I believe. Uh, you can spend thousands of dollars on, on advertising and it works, but somebody referring you a case uh, is, is the best because that means that person trusts you the person they referred you is going on that trust. And if you do a good job, then that person will then trust you too. And then you have one more referral source. It makes perfect sense. It's the same with, with LSAT prep as well. 